Hi, I'm Casey Venable. I'm a PhD student at the University of Colorado in Boulder and one of ASCE's new faces of civil engineering. My journey to becoming a civil engineer started in earnest when I was in high school. I had a feeling, had a, a longing to have a career that I knew would make an impact, have an impact on the lives of others. And through a couple of opportunities and experiences with rebuilding houses, I found out that civil engineering really was the path for me. And so I ended up at Virginia Tech where I studied both civil engineering and construction engineering and management. And during my first year at Virginia Tech, I became a part of an organization called Bridges to Prosperity, their student chapter um, there at the university. And during that first year, I interacted with older students who had traveled to Haiti, who had been a part of these projects to build these footbridges for these rural communities, and from them learned so much, was greatly inspired, and then had the opportunity to work on a project in Haiti. Throughout my time at Virginia Tech and with Bridges to Prosperity, also traveled to Guatemala and worked on a couple of different footbridge projects down there as well. And over the course of these projects, I came to realize just how powerful infrastructure can be in changing the lives um, of communities around the world. But I also recognized that some of our assumptions and institutions in creating infrastructure um, aren't as maybe as great as we thought and that we need to question them and ask how we can do them better and involve communities. Um, and really, a catalyst for these questions was observing the rebuilding process in Haiti after the 2010 earthquake. Even two years later, um, how so many people were still without houses um, and all of the government and institutional problems uh, that came along with that rebuilding. And so those questions about how we build, how we rebuild, how we prevent the destruction from disasters led me to graduate school and it led me here to see you um, where an incredible group of faculty were already working on post-disaster work looking at the performance of houses and shelters um, and how to involve communities and how to coordinate amongst organizations and so here at CU I'm in my second year um, of a PhD studies and I'm asking a couple of different questions how do communities participate in rebuilding their shelter how are those rebuilt shelters, those new homes, expected to perform in a future hazard event? How does that participation affect performance? And then how do participation and performance lead to resilience? And in our study, we're looking, we've looked at uh, houses built after the earthquake in Ecuador in 2016, um, houses being rebuilt, or that were rebuilt in 2013 after Typhoon Haiyan in the Philippines. Um, and we're exploring what's happening in the rebuilding process in Puerto Rico and the U.S. Virgin Islands. And from this work, hope to have recommendations um, for how we can rebuild better, how we can build back better. It's a real emphasis for organizations and governments around the world as we try to build disaster resilience. So are we really doing that? And how can we build back better? And I'm really excited about this work. It, I think it really touches to the heart of the power of civil engineers that everything we do has an impact on the general public. And as we've seen within our own country, um, in Florida and Texas, and of course Puerto Rico and the Virgin Islands, about how disasters can affect us recently in California with wildfires and mudslides, housing is super important to our communities, it's very important in our lives, and we want everyone to have a safe home that will stand up if a hazard were to occur, if a disaster were to strike their community. And so with the results, um, hopefully of our study, we'll be able to continue to improve housing uh, for communities around the world. And that, that's why I'm here. That's why I'm a civil engineer.